Hey, what's up guys? No Rage here, bringing you another skill overview. This time we're taking a look at Taskmaster. Now, I know this video is a little bit delayed. What with the surprise release of Taskmaster? Oh, we thought it was an April Fool's joke. Nope, it's real. And uh, with the team up system released shortly afterward, I just simply haven't had time to uh, do a video for him yet. But that's what we're doing today so let's go ahead and have a look top in here real quick and I've got my taskmaster here I've got one point in every skill like I do with all of these videos um let's hop in and the first tree we've got is the superb combatant tree we're gonna have foe slayer, foe slayer strike up first it's gonna be a basic attack that will do a little bit of extra base damage based on your missing spirit. 1% increase in base damage for each percent of missing spirit. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Let's have a look at what that looks like. Alright, just uh, a regular basic slash. Pretty cool animations, I think. Next up, we've got anti-heroic charge. Uh, lunge forward, knocking down enemies in your path by ramming your shield into them. It's going to have a very short uh, knockdown duration, but it is also going to negate 10% of the damage you take for the next 10 seconds, and that will scale... No, the, uh, the duration of the damage negation will scale with points put into the skill, but the amount will not. Let's have a look what that looks like. I know that hurts. All right, very familiar skill. You may have seen another hero use it before, as you may with a lot of these skills. Uh, let's get into the next one: dismember melee fighting devil skill. What could that mean? We'll find out later. Hack an enemy to pieces with flowing slashes of your sword and shield. Um, it's going to do physical damage per hit. It's going to hit three times. I'll just go ahead and tell you that. I mean, it's sort of like triple strike. Um, but the damage will increase by 40% per consecutive strike. Let's have a look at that. Alright, cool, cool. Next up, we've got Rebounding Shield. I like this skill. I really like this skill. It's going to do some physical damage up front, as well as bleed all targets hit. It's going to bounce seven times. Damage dealt to the same target decreases each time it's hit. That's very important to take into account, though. And there you go. Now, it will prioritize, I believe hitting targets it hasn't hit before bouncing back to one that it already has otherwise it would you know bounce between these two so I'm pretty sure it prioritizes hitting new targets but if there are not new targets to hit then it will bounce between these two alright uh, next up we've got C's toss out a rope to wrap up enemies and then drag them in close to finish them off Cooldown of 3 seconds on this one. Pretty high physical damage. Let's have a look at what it looks like. Oh, that's the wrong one. That one right there. Okay. So let the bleeds finish. Alright, here we go. So it just sends out a little rope. Pretty cool. And uh, pulls any targets hit into you so you can slash them up with your sword. Next up, we've got Rending Swings. Cleave your foes in twain. I don't even know what that means. Employing Black Knight's swordplay techniques to flawless effect. It's going to restore some extra spirit when you strike an enemy. Let's give that a look. Looks like the AoE on that is very large. You can see... You know, I'm standing way, way back here. And hitting this target and that target. If I get up close... Huh. Very interesting skill. The range on that seems very high. 
So there's a basic attack with a very, very high frontal AoE cone range thing. Pretty cool. Uh, Shield Crush is going to be the next one. Shield Crush, crush your enemies under a brutal overhead strike from your shield. Uh, doing some physical damage, and the base damage will increase by 50% to bleeding enemies. Let's have a look. Oh, wow. That. I'm, I'm going to have to start using that. I did not know it was that good. Huge AoE crush. It's sort of like... Um, what do you call it? Airborne Assault from Captain, I believe. And does extra damage to bleeding targets. So you throw out your rebounding shield, and then you use Shield Crush to come down and smash them with big AoE. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Next we've got Cyclone Club. Swing a Billy Club in wild arcs, slowing and pummeling surrounding enemies. It's going to slow them a bit, do massive damage. Pay attention, class. Very cool, very cool. <laughs> Alright, next up we've got the Deadly Marksman Tree, which is going to focus on ranged abilities. Let's pull some onto the bar. Alright, th so the first one we've got is 45 caliber. It's a basic range fighting skill. Plug your enemies at range with shots from your pistol. Simple, but effective. It's going to have increased brutal strike rating for this skill. Nope, that's the wrong one. There we go. So he just pulls out his sidearm and simply fires at the enemy. While his sword twitches. That's a little bit weird. Anyway. Uh, next up, we've got Deadly Volley. Loose a dense spread of arrows into entire groups of enemies. It's a lot like Hawkeye's Wave of Arrows. I wonder where he learned that. Uh, next up, we've got Webnet. Coat an area with sticky webbing that briefly immobilizes foes, in addition to slowing them down and making them vulnerable to damage. It's going to slow, it's going to apply vulnerability, area duration of 5 seconds, and pretty nice physical damage. There we go. Very familiar skill. Next up we've got Legion Arrow. Unleash a devastating 3 round burst of arrows at your target, perfecting... Perfect... the Perfect... Perfect for neutralizing even the most powerful foes. It's going to do extra damage to bosses, champions, and elites. Let's have a look. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Spidey Swing is next. Web Swing out with a sensational kick, stunning all enemies in your path. It's going to do some physical damage. going to stun them and increase your move speed. I like that animation. I don't know how useful that skill can be, though. Mm, I don't know. Next, we've got a dual wield. It's a uh, basic range fighting skill, and it's got a lot higher rate of fire, but it does not have the increased brutal strike rating. Damage is a little bit less too than the other range basic. Let's have a look. Next up, we've got Nerve Gas Arrow, one of my personal favorites. It's going to do physical damage now. Initially, it was energy damage, but they have changed it. Um, it's going to do physical damage now. It's going to apply a weakening effect and have an area duration of 5 seconds. Rate of fire, uh, 1.5 per, sec per second. I think it, it's got some uh, some really cool sound effects there, and it, it 
seems to be creating quite a bit of lag, actually. <laughs> that I did not expect it to do that. I've been using it on live for quite some time, and it hasn't been doing that amount of lag. Maybe I've got my uh, video effects turned up higher over here on the test center. See, it's causing some weird, weird graphic stuff. But anyway, um, a very good, very, very good attack that I use a lot on my uh, Taskmaster on live. Next up, we've got Web Cocoon. Coat enemies with a thick layer of physical of bleh, thick layer of special webbing that solidifies almost immediately, stuns enemies in it. It should say stunning enemies in it. Okay, anyway. Physical damage. Stun duration of 3 seconds. Attack speed of 1.3. Let's have a look. Another very familiar skill. Now, we're going to get into his last tree, and you will finally... Uh, we'll finally go over why do all of his skills look so familiar. And all of his skills look so familiar because his next tree is Photographic Reflexes, which is a thing that Taskmaster does. Basically, his power is um, he can watch what other people do and then mimic that action. So he's been watching Hawkeye. He's been watching Captain America. He's been watching Daredevil. He's been watching Spider-Man. And that's why he's got all these skills. Uh, the first one we've got is his Flawless Emulation. It's a passive. You're a perfect patchwork of masterful fighting styles. You flow between them, combining your strengths and... It's, it, what? It's, I, don't, I don't know what that word means. Any weakness. Uh, <laughs> you can have increased defense dodge, and dodge rating by 240. And you're gonna increase. You're gonna double that uh, for 10 seconds when you hit with a captain or a daredevil power. You're gonna have damage rating increased by uh, a damage rating and crit rating increased by 168, and double that for 10 seconds when you hit with an archer or spider power. And scaling that this is an incredible passive, as for in, in terms of scaling, scales very nicely. And next up, we've got these are the toggled stances. The first one is going to be Peerless Archer, based on Hawkeye. You aim and draw in a single motion, and your shots often hit more than one mark. Up to two stances can be active at a time. It's going to give you increased attack speed, more damage rating for ranged powers, some brutal strike rating, and it's going to cause any hit, not just ranged hits, to have a 28% chance to deal 2,128 physical damage. It doesn't say physical damage there, but it is physical damage twice per second for three seconds. Very nice. I love the strength of that bleed. Um, it's also got a power synergy, and all of these have power synergies, but this is the first one we'll go over. 1% chance to bleed for each point in Archer Powers. So Archer Powers, of course, you've seen the tags... Here we go. Deadly Volley is an archer power. You put points in here, and the chance to bleed goes up for Peerless Archer, if I were to confirm. Next, we've got Impervious Soldier. This is the stance that Taskmaster learns by watching Captain America. Use your shield to maximum effect, effortlessly keeping it between you and imminent harm. Up to two stances can be active at a time. It's going to give you block, 5% chance to block attacks. It's going to give you max health. It's going to give you a regenerate health per second effect. Scaling very nicely, I might add. And it's also going to give you a very nice effect. 28% chance when you hit 
to ignore the next 263 damage received within 3 seconds. And that is, again, going to scale very nicely. Well, I say that. The, the, the ignore damage, it doesn't scale that great. But, uh, all, all, all in all, this passive makes you a very, okay, very enough, nothing. tanky character. Next up, we've got the Fearless Acrobat, giving you dodge chance increased by 55%. 50 would be pretty crazy. Um, damage rating increased to melee powers, tenacity, and a 28% chance to restore 70 health on hit. Again, the power synergy, 1% chance to restore health for each point in devil powers. Next up, we've got the Amazing Web Slinger. Your uncanny agility combined with generous usage of sticky webbing gives you a complete control of any otherwise messy brawl. Up to two stances can be active at a time. All right, we've yeah we've covered the two stances at a time thing. Uh, you are able to see any enemies on the mini map. Your move speed increases by five percent. And your projectile evasion chance is in, uh, goes up by 10%. Uh, your maximum spirit increases by 20. 28% chance to restore one spirit on hit. That chance will, of course, improve with points put into spider powers. And at certain tiers, the first one being... There it is. The first one being seven points put into the skill you will see that the amount of spirit you restore on hit goes up. Going up to 3 at, I think, 18. So at level 20, you're going to have a chance to restore 3 spirit on hit. Next in the tree, we've got Relentless, your basic CC immunity, uh, Breaker immunity, all that stuff, 15 second cooldown. Now we've got his signature, and I really like his signature. It's called Action. Now seems like a good time to film your next commercial. You do all your own stunts. And basically, he throws down a camera, and I'll show you the animation for that in a minute, and increases your damage rating, crit and brutal damage, crit and brutal strike, rating defense tenacity attack move speeds and gives you plus one rank to all current powers plus one to all attributes has an area duration of 12 seconds cooldown of one minute and the duration will increase with points put in your ultimate uh, I should note here that here it is is it seven yeah with seven points in the skill just like we saw with um, amazing wise Slinger. with seven points in the skill you will see that the current rank of all powers goes up and then again at there it is at 15 again at 15 seven goes up to two 15 goes up to three and nope uh, three is as high as you will get now, a few plus skills in this can push it up to 4, and with even more plus skills, eventually 5, to current rank of all powers, making it an, just an extraordinarily strong buff. Uh, it's going to give you a little bit of everything, and then those those plus ranks in current, in current powers just push it over the top. So strong. And let's have a look at what that looks like. Is he... It's really playing music, too. I can't really hear the music too well, but... It does... It, it plays music. That's crazy. <laughs> Alright. Uh, now, I didn't show any of the animations for these, so let me put those on the bar and, and show off their animations. So there you go. There's the Hawkeye one. Captain America. And I'll have to turn those off to turn the other ones on. Daredevil. And Spider-Man. Oh, 
that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's that's actually really cool that that animation sequence there that you can do. Anyway, I'm I'm getting distracted again. Uh, let's show off the final skill in the tree. You've been waiting for this field exercise. It's his ultimate. Bring a fresh batch of students into a field exercise. As they learn from your technique and expertise, they will become stronger. Summon duration of th 30 seconds. Defense and health 400 times your your stats. Um, enforcers will be summoned. And they're going to come in with baseball bats and smack people. Riot squads will come in with shields and uh, smack people and also maybe do some uh, some blocking for the other guys. Riflemen's. Uh, riflemen, riflemen, rifle, eh, blah, blah, blah. riflemen will come in and uh, barrage the enemy, doing massive um, single target damage. Actually, I, th I think it's mostly single target. I don't think they do the uh, the spray and pray. I think it's just single target, uh, triple shots, and all that. And then demolitionists will come in and throw bombs here and there. The blue elites will have, you know, when they come down initially, they will have uh, just that baseline damage. They'll they'll grow a bit as they come down, and their damage will increase to 50% base damage, and they will negate 20% damage at that point. Uh, the, once they go yellow, they will have a hundred percent base damage and negate forty percent damage now let's go ahead and have a look come on down so you can see they rope down from the sky very cool skill we've got some running in they were summoned outside I guess some of them have gone blue they've leveled up you'll see some of them turn yellow here in a second as time progresses there's one just went yellow now they're all yellow. Pretty cool skill. Pretty cool skill. I like it a lot. Uh, using this in conjunction with action can uh, can be really nice because all of those summons that you bring down will get buffed by action and therefore do a whole bunch more damage. Very cool. Um, that is all of Taskmaster's skills. Let's have a look at his synergies, which I normally go all over at the beginning, but uh, it looks like we've had him on this whole time, but oh well. Uh, level 25, he will gain 1% dodge, 1% deflect projectile, and at level 50, 1% melee power damage, and 1% crit damage. Last thing that I would normally go over is his uniques. However, the unique box is not available on the test center, so we'll have to do this a little bit differently. Uh, thankfully, he's been in-game long enough that people have found his uniques, and they are up on the uh, all unique items found info patch, to whatever. There will be a link for that in the description. This, this, uh, this thread is amazing for finding your uniques and knowing what they do. So, let's have a look. His slot 1 will be Finesse Baton, giving you uh, 706 damage rating. These are all level 60, right? Yes, they're all level 60. Awesome. Uh, he's going to do some extra bonus physical damage. When you hit, gain 8% attack speed for 5 seconds. Critical rating damage, or critical damage rating uh, 706 thousand brutal strike damage rating 4% chance when you hit with a melee power to cause your target to bleed 6 to all 6 to the rank of all taskmasters superb combatant powers pretty cool I like that unique um, agency X body armor is his slot 2 he's gonna have some defense some health tenacity plus one durability which will become really strong with the uh, the new stat review coming up uh, deals 443 physical damage to the attacker when you're hit 
when you take range damage, your range powers cost 10% less and gain uh, 294 damage rating for 8 seconds. When you take melee damage, your melee powers cost less and gain damage rating. Plus 1 to current rank of all powers and plus 3 to flawless emulation, which of course is his, uh, his ooh, I'm Taskmaster passive. Frightful 4 Hood. Defense, Spirit, Health Regen, Strength, Dodge Rating. 5% chance when you dodge to gain 5,600 defense for 5 seconds. 30 second cooldown on that effect. When you use a movement power, gain 294 physical damage rating for 5 seconds. And 6%, or plus 6 rather, to current rank of all Taskmaster's deadly marksman powers. Next up in his slot 4, we've got the videotape collection. Defense adds 2 seconds to the duration of action. Wow, that's a very nice effect. 2 seconds added to the duration of action. Uh, he's got uh, health, rare find, special find, uh, plus damage to bosses, move speed, plus 2 to the current rank of all powers, plus 1, 4, or 5, I guess I can roll anywhere from 1 to 5, maybe, maybe even higher, to the ranks of Amazing Web Slinger, Peerless Archer, Impervious Soldier, and Fearless Acrobat, which of course are his uh, auras that let him take on the aspects of other heroes. Finally, in his slot 5, he's got Solid Energy Shield, giving a little bit of extra defense to all defenses, physical, energy, and mental. <laughs> giving Crit Rating, Brutal Strike Rating, Health, 2% chance when attacked to block the damage. When you drop below 30% health, your shield negates an additional 1,634 damage from the next hit you take. 30 second cooldown on that effect. And finally, plus 3 to the current rank of all Taskmaster's photographic reflexes. So, that's Taskmaster. All in all, a very fun hero. Uh, I've been having a lot of fun with him on the live servers, and I'm sure you will too. Until next time, take it easy, have a good one, peace.